This is Dr. Dennis Longs. Today we're going to talk about hip avascular necrosis in stem cells, some of the facts and fallacies. First, we have to understand avascular necrosis is when you lose the blood supply to an area of bone, then the bone cells die. It becomes necrotic. When we're looking at this hip, which is a ball and socket joint, this blackened area on the head of the femur is where the area of necrosis is. It's quite large. Some are very small. Some are large. Avascular necrosis can occur from a variety of reasons, from trauma, corticosteroid, lupus. I've seen it all. <clears throat> One of the things that's a misconception is how to treat this. And some doctors think you have to put it in the bone. And the old method was to drill in with microfracture or core decompression. They would drill in and have the bone marrow ooze into the necrotic area and into the joint. <clears throat> this is what I call a poor man's stem cell. Whole blood, uh, bone marrow is 95% whole blood, so about 5% stem cells. So it's a very dilute product. One expert, uh, ex chair of Boston University Orthopedics, he would do both. He would do microfracture and then put stem cells on top of it. But if you've ever had microfracture, which all of my patients have had, it hurts like the Dickens and there's a long recovery. But if it's an incomplete healing response, and they do it in knee trauma too, and sometimes it forms scar tissue in the meniscus, then perhaps we should just put a highly concentrated source of stem cells from bone marrow or one of the other ways to apply it. And I've used everything from bone marrow, growth factors and PRP and scaffolds, one of the first persons in the world to do that. And <clears throat> If we're trying to manage this, not just from what you have today, but what happens with AVN over time is this necrotic area can collapse and leads to a, leads to a rapid destruction of the joint. It's an accelerated arthritis pattern. So we're managing it today and down the road. One of the greatest sports legends of all time, Bo Jackson, hurt his hip on a football play. He was helped off the field. It was the end of the season. They didn't know he had AVN. He showed up for spring training at the Kansas City Royals. He was limping. Team doctor got an x-ray and showed it was a joint. His hip joint was just destroyed and he needed a hip replacement. So we want to catch it early and prevent this. So we're not just treating the picture today, the patient today. We're taking into account what the patient goals are, needs, and also looking at the future. So we're trying to manage multiple things. So we can do this by directly injecting it into the joint, into the area where the the necrotic area is, and also trying to prevent long-term complications such as joint destruction. So we can do that with, with x-ray and ultrasound, and I do both. Understanding avascular necrosis from all the disorders, and I've treated every type of joint just about there is, and every type of athlete with wrists, ankles, hips the most common, but having a little experience and understanding the process of AVN is very important.